Hey guys, we're the 732 Review Crew, and I am Mikey. I'm Jeff. And I'm Mike. And we're back today with a two-parter for Clone Wars. Now, for these ones, these will be the Zillow Beast episodes, and let me just... I wish I knew what that here. was. It's Season 2, Episode 18 and 19. See, I'm imagining it's a salesman oh. beast? No, it's perhaps? not It's not a salesman beast. It's a housing market beast. Oh, God, it's a real estate agent? <laughs> oh, I just got it. Zillow, Zillow. <laughs> okay, okay, you guys are funny. Um, as we continue our way through Star Wars Clone Wars, I do remind everybody that I have seen it, but I don't remember it too well besides the big clean moments, and this is their first time. But we're going to jump right into this. If you're new here, we do appreciate you. Let us know in the comments your favorite part of this episode or reaction discussion itself, or if we could do anything to improve it for you. If you haven't already, make sure you do like the video if you do enjoy it, as well as subscribe if you haven't already also. Otherwise, check out our Discord where we can discuss Star Wars with you. We know I'm always down to discuss it. We can get to hour-long conversations, especially if I'm at work. Distract me from work, please. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to jump into this episode in 3, 2, 1, and thanks for joining us. Separatist forces are on the verge of claiming the planet Malastare. This guy's like if awesome. If the Republic loses this planet, it will cost them vital fuel resources necessary for maintaining their armies. Look at that fleet. So this looks kind of like their last stand kind of thing here, huh? Ooh. Yeah, that's like a massive one. Season two yeah, really kicks to the, the scale of the war. Yeah. Holy fuck. I won't allow my people to become Oh, that's the Bulba's people. The, the pod racer. Yeah, it is. Oh shit, like zombies. That's sick, the laser devices. Yikers. This is so sick, I don't care. <laughs> oh, so there's also locals who are on the Yes, No, that was friendly. They were friendlies. Yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> they just stare at it. <laughs> Yo. Public war crimes, anyone? Is it a war crime if they're like... I mean, so far it's kind of just looking like a regular bomb. There you go. Yeah, there you go. There it is. It looks like it's working, though. Yeah, I mean, Palpatine's behind it, though, so something's gonna happen. <clears throat> Wouldn't it, like, fry their mechs? It is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> Bye, Pops. Just EMP'd the whole planet. Looks like it worked. I don't like that music. The ground is sinking. Get everyone out of here. Fucking yikes. Gunships are so cool. That's my favorite sound. Oh, cave painting. No. Hand marks from people being brutally murdered. Out of this housing market. <laughs> it's a clone helmet right there. I think he's right. They never stood a chance. General, there's something down here with us. It's not. Is that a pilot? Yeah. Calm yourself, soldier. We'll check it out. We lost contact with the rescue team. Trapper, Pons, Hawkeye, come with me. Sir, there's nothing around here but rocks. They're walking the on it, aren't oh, they? Man. It does look a little sussed on it. Good guess. Is it a worm? Or is it a dragon? <gasps> is it a space dragon? I feel like they shouldn't have just shot at it immediately. Nope. <gasps> space dragon. What the fuck is that? A space dragon. Oh no. R2, I, I can't see. Turn on your beacon. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what a little spinning trick. Got him. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here, man. Jetpack, R2, jetpack. It's his chicken? Uh, what? <gasps> uh oh. Resistant to lightsaber. Right in the eye, right? No, he's escaping. Yeah. He said he knows he stabbed it, it wouldn't work. I love R2, dude. <laughs> that thing, it is a Zillow beast. They once roamed Malastare, devouring our ancestors. They are supposed to be extinct, apparently. 
they're not. <laughs> So, so mean. <laughs> One of its kind and they're bombing it. Why don't they just open up a zoo around it? True. Your men are killing a unique there life. There it is. It is a dangerous, bloodthirsty monster. What purpose would it serve to kill it? If it really is the last of its kind, it is our duty. Master Windu, are you certain this argument is worth it? I mean, after all, it's just one creature. Remember what the Chancellor said. <laughs> It isn't the creature, it's the principle. Allowing oh. the doves to kill it violates what we stand for as Jedi. Standing by his, you know, morals. This creature is of no importance to us. We cannot be alienating the doves at this crucial time. Its outer scales are virtually impenetrable. None of our weapons could harm it. Even my lightsaber couldn't cut it. If we could somehow duplicate that for our ships. An impenetrable armor. What if we let the Dugs think we killed it? Then we could have the treaty and the creature. Yes, Anakin. Go on. Deception. That's not gonna go well. Yeah, so now instead they're gonna stun it, move it somewhere else, and study it for military technology. Yeah, <laughs> Mace Windu, great resolution. You see the moment that they were like, it's kind of impenetrable to the lightsabers? Palpatine was like, wait a second, what? Jedi. But you're a fool if you think your weapons will even scratch Zillow Beast. These are no ordinary weapons. Your Zillow Beast will be no match for them. Maybe true. Open the valve. They're gonna drown it. it to that. Um, uh, but what? What fuel starships? Why does that look like radioactive goop that they're dumping on Godzilla? <laughs> hey, you figured out what it was. <laughs> God, bro, uh... Yeah, it is Godzilla. So it's pretty much gas it out. Our fuel is deadly to the beast. You'll drive it out of that hole and then it'll be harder to deal with. I like how it's just got like a third arm on its back. It's got a bunch of arms. They can climb. I said order them to stop or what? We are innocent life forms. <laughs> are we? That's uh, it, that was cool. Oh, that's gone too well for the dudes. Dugs, dudes, dugs. That one just got crushed, bro. It's literally Godzilla. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> they walk so funny. Back Jesus. Up. Back up. Yep. Did you swat that tank like a- yep. Oh my god. These poor clones. Brother. <sighs> oh fuck, dude. <laughs> Just throwing it out of the fjord. You woke up Godzilla and it's mad. Is it working? I think so. Especially because they're killing- What idea was this anyway? Oh, it is. Look at it. Just gotta take a little nappy nap. Have you selected a planet for relocation? There has been a slight change of plans. Uh oh. They believe it should be further studied in a more controlled environment before it is released into the wild. And where is this controlled environment? On Kurosan. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. It is. That's why I was like, yay, military scientists. Ooh, you saved the day. It's going to have a total New York City moment, right? Like, King Kong. That's literally the parallel. It's like, well, just transport King Kong on this boat. What could go wrong? Yay, little beast. Man, that guy did not seem happy about signing the treaty. No, no he, he did, did not. not. Now. I think we just jump right into the next one. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Hit the next one. Next episode. Great. Good episode. Get a, they are definitely nice. getting consistently more enjoyable to watch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Episode 19. And the animation gets better. The characters are getting better with their voice yeah, acting. Yeah, and like the, the secondary, lesser important characters are improving greatly as well. That is a huge ramp. 
I mean, it's a big Zillow beast. We got gunship circling it. You are clear. You are clear. Copy that. It's a little dragon. It, the blue troopers are pretty fresh. The uh, Senate guard. The sooner we unlock the Zillow beast secrets, the sooner we can end this terrible war. Oh no. They're hurting him. <laughs> Oh, they're just ripping scales off of it. No, that's lifting a scale to do that. Oh. That's enough. We need to remove the scales first. Scales? It's very difficult, not to mention painful. Would it not be more efficient to simply kill the beast? Kill it? Are you sure? Doctor, you need to find a way to kill that beast. Or we shall replace you with someone who can. Acres. There's a little beast squaring up a Palpatine right now. It's like, I'll remember that. Master Kenobi explained the problem. I'm here to help. Problem? What problem? <laughs> the situation with our friend from Malastair? The Zillow Beast was chained up and brought here against its will. It has no voice to defend itself. Anakin, we have to be that voice. Oh, we was too smart. He went to Palpatine and meet uh, Padme. Padme. I didn't think you'd feel so strongly about it. <laughs> All right, let's speak to the Chancellor. She changes his mind I so still easy. Don't like this, Anakin. Is it not worth the life of one savage beast to give our brave troops the advantage they need to win this war? <clears throat> My role is not to set policy, Chancellor, Ooh. but I do see both points of view. He's like, that's my wife, I can't say anything. <laughs> Master Kenobi has taught you well. <laughs> I wish I saw an alternative. Oh, However, it's looking at him, you see that? Ask you to proceed with your assignment. Yeah, that's a glare, dude. Poor little thing is scared. Vital signs are dropping. Just shooting him in the eye. That's so messed up. Spray faster! Spray faster! <laughs> I think it's too late for that. It's like, I gotta go. This has been fun, but uh... Nice squad day, but excuse me, got squeezing through. Yes, yeah, deserved. Well, at least they were smart enough to... Point artillery at the entire lab. Oh, the sound of that. <laughs> oh no, it's on course, huh? And it's pissed off. Oh no. <laughs> it's the Clover Monster. King Kage got shit on me. <laughs> what skyscraper is it? <gasps> Who's he kidnapping to climb? Skyscraper. Like. I made mean, that. Palpatine. <laughs> sure, yeah. Fair. He was staring at him, pissed off. Jeez. Oh no. Who we'll approved this? Him. Doctor, were you successful? How do they not problem, know? Sir. It's a whole planet city. All right, he's kind of asking about the New York. Yeah, here's your New York scene. Isn't this literally Cloverfield? Uh, at least more like Godzilla. Do you hear the channel's sort of message in the background? Yikes. There are so many people dying right now. <laughs> oh my god! Good show. I mean, I mean, bringing it to Kurosawa was like the worst idea. The worst ever. idea ever. I didn't know where he is. Hatred. Well, it could be more intelligent than they let on. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. Definitely looks like that. Oh, it's picking up steam though. Oh, it just leaped. Parkour. Oh no, it's Mon Mothma. Is it Mon Mothma? It looked like Mon Mothma. It looked like Kinda, it. Kinda, yeah. Which makes sense because they're friends. Oh. Yes. We are going now. <laughs> Chancellor, I think you want to. Evasive action. Why is Anakin not flying? Yeah, right. And they didn't get away. Here comes the airplane. Are they really just gonna rip? That he really wants the Chancellor. He does. I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Sir, looks like the general's up to something. <laughs> what is Skywalker doing? It appears to be one of Anakin's improvised plans. 
<laughs> be a plan if it's improvised. <laughs> Not to worry. Just catch them when they fall. A lot of the general's plans involve falling. <laughs> <laughs> Two snarkiest people who are both fed up. You know, the only person missing is the sofa. You know, you got Cody. Yeah. I'm sorry, you got Rex and uh, Obi Wan. I love that everyone else holds on to the handles and stuff, and Yoda's just like. Hey, how's, he, how's he gonna get? But he also is so low to the ground, you know? Yeah. He got that center gravity low. Surprised you he doesn't. He's got force balance, do bro. Do I do that? Oh, I mean, like, try to commune with the beast instead of just attacking it. Yeah, maybe not be able to, I don't know. <laughs> We're going sledding! They all popped out immediately. Yeah. Except for that poor guard. Can't he just force pull her? Oh no, R2, don't! I thought R2 was gonna smack into somebody. <laughs> Why can't he just force pull her? I think it's what he was doing. Pew, 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 pew. So they'll shoot at the beast with Master Yoda on it, but they'll. Bro, Master Yoda can dodge it. He knows where to stand. It's Yoda, come on, man. Oh! I thought they were gonna use the lasers not to shoot. I think they're harassing there, there. Right now so that they can get them off. I don't blame the Zillow Beast. Go off, sis. It's one of the few times Palpatine has met his match, right? Shite. It ate the guard? It just stopped him. Oh, Why? Having much of an Time to <laughs> oh, he's fine. Oh, no! <laughs> Never mind. I want his feet. Oh, poor little baby. It's pretty rough. This is like a King Kong moment right here, I think. It is. Aww. It just wanted to sleep. It was just hanging out in its cave. Then you broke its home, stabbed it, zapped it, kidnapped it. You ought to do it. Yeah. Force bubble. So emotional for an episode, right? Yeah, I'm sure Mace Windu was not happy. When he gave the order to fire, he was so hesitant. He, he actually like hesitated. Whoever's doing the music right now is killing it. Killed the space dragon. Poor Zillow Beast didn't deserve it. He did nothing wrong. Also, think about an entire species of them. You know, talk about an art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty fucking scary. I'm surprised they never considered that as an option. Hats off to the Doug for being able to kill all of them. Your new orders. What is this? You want me to clone the beast? Yikes. <sighs> yeah, I mean, right. that makes sense also. And welcome to the introduction of Palpatine's cloning experiments. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely starting to give off more evil, evil vibes. vibes this for season. sure. He's starting to make some moves. He's starting to do some stuff like that. Now, the big thing is, um, as Mike guessed, this is an, George Lucas's homage to um, King Kong. King or Kong. Godzilla or any of those. It, it, it's, it, they consider, I think they're called the, the Leviathan. I mean, that was King Kong, yeah. for sure. That was King Kong and also Godzilla, because the beast was Godzilla in the sense that, you know, it, it was kind of, you know, it does look somewhat no, I, 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 it's similar. It's kind of like, it, it's definitely King Kong, eyes. because King Kong, like the beast might have looked Godzilla-esque, but it, it's King Kong, because, you know, they find it on a remote island or remote hole, and then they... Knock it out, yeah. transport it back transport to it. a capital city, and then it breaks up, yeah. loose, and yeah. But regardless, you know, very, you know, interesting episode. You have what starts off as just a war, and they drop a new bomb, and the bomb just happens to awaken a beast, like you said. And it's the ancestral enemy of these people who live on the planet. So, they, of course, they want to kill it. But how do you kill something that can't be penetrated by lightsabers? And, you know... They literally said it was indestructible. We've seen them yeah. cut through blast doors that are meant to like seal ships and like air locks and stuff with lightsabers. And the lightsaber just bounced off of his scales. And they said it was light, super light. And the first thing Palpatine thinks of is armor, armor, and anything. Clothing. And you know, in the Jedi's mind, they're like, "Well, if we give them lightsaber proof armor, they can't get shot, and General Grievous can't hurt them anymore." But in Palpatine's mind, he's like, "When I call Order sixty six, 
Yeah, yeah. It's done. Spoilers. Yeah, what's Order 66, man? You guys, you guys have seen the movies, go on. Um, but we have, you know, the moral dilemma of, especially Mace Windu, who is known to be a dogmatic Jedi. He follows the creed and all this stuff to the T, and in the movies, he may seem like an asshole or stuck up in these situations, yeah. but it's because he's a believer of the code, and in that code, it is, do not harm an innocent life. And they woke up a creature that's just trying to sleep, and it's the last of his kind, so of course he's, he's on Team Zillow Beast off the start. Most of the Jedi are, except Anakin, who has a little bit of, like, you know, push from Palpatine all the time. Well, even then, I mean, he remained more or less neutral. He didn't take his side. Yeah. Well, but know. at the same time, he didn't take, as a Jedi, he didn't take the Jedi side. He Which took, was the big thing. And he didn't take his wife's side. Um, and, you know, there's always the theory that Obi-Wan knew about Padme before, you know, the movie. Just because, you know, Obi-Wan, he, he was in right. Um So... Who better to persuade Anakin to do something good than Padme, who truly believes in the cause and will argue? And I think the Jedi Council, you know, maybe they were like, oh, what should we do? You know Anakin best. And he's like, he really listens to Padme. Let me go ask her. I don't know why he listens to her. BRB. BRB. And, you know, she shows up and he's like, he's like, you didn't tell me she was going to be here. And she's like, Anakin, I need you to talk to the Chancellor with us. And he, he, he like, goes, okay. he's, like, he's like, you know, Palpatine's trying to pull his strings. And he's like, I can't get I can't get my dad. My, you know, he's like, Palpatine kind of comes like his, you know, mentor. I can't get mentor mad and I can't get my wife mad. He's like, I'm just going to, you know, remain impartial. And Padme is big mad over that because she's like, you have to, you're a Jedi, you know, you should you know more yeah. of the beliefs. Well, it was also funny because when he doesn't, side with the chancellor chancellor he comments he's like obi-wan's teaching you well but i felt like that was also a subtle thing of like fuck obi-wan dude well, listen to me exactly <laughs> and there's like a whole scene when they're trying to talk about the zillow beast and how they're going to pretend to kill it and mace windows kind of on board and he's like yeah that's a great idea we could save it and then it's like it's kind of palpatine being like you know you should deceive some people it's kind of you know dipping into the dark side a little bit and he's doing it publicly in front of Mace Windu, but Mace Windu doesn't recognize it because he's just like, he's just a chancellor. He's just doing that right now. Well, because once again, Anakin was trying to see, seek compromise. Exactly. In that situation. And that's what they tried to do. But seeking compromise was, uh, you know, saving the beast. And instead of it being brought to a planet in the outer rim where nobody lives, where it can live, brought it to the most populated planet in Star Wars. Literally home to pr pretty sure billions, if not trillions, of people. Yeah, and they put it so close that it could run the rampage. It, it, I'm, I'm gonna say it probably killed thousands of people on its rampage at least because it, it was knocking bridges and, and things. We down. saw explosions all over. We the saw place. explosions all over the place. It probably it could have. You know, I would have said it probably killed like upwards of like you know five digit, you know, ten thousand people plus because it's just walking, and that's just because they wanted to, you know save lives quote unquote and palpatine's whole thing was we must bring it here because i'm tired of you know yeah that seemed mad so there's like there's like ten thousand planets they could but choose from that probably have facilities that can handle this well no well, because none of them were under his direct watch yes and control exactly that's but, why i brought it and remember he says it's a savage he beast he had a requisitioned one when he's calling it a savage beast the entire time it's just eyeing him up mm -hmm. and i think one of my my one of my things i like is I don't know if Palpatine, you know, I don't know if he could defeat a Zillow beast because it's immune to lightsabers. Lightning may def might affect it a little bit, but we saw it kind of shook off the lightning also in that for a while. For a while. And it also shook off the toxic gas. I mean, they killed it, but they're going to clone a new one. But like at the same time, you know, it shook off a lot of lightning and lightsabers. It, it probably would have... It would have given Palpatine a real run for his money. Oh, for sure. If if he, you know, even if he was an openly like you know trying to fight it. Now we didn't see them try to commune with it, like you mentioned before. Pal I think maybe Mace Windu. I don't know if it was maybe like an off-screen attempt when he put his hand on it. You know, they don't mention it, but like, yeah, I'm surprised it, they didn't. Try it could have been like a Cad Bane moment where they had all the Jedi Council come and try to you know put their hands on it and like you will obey us uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and use them together, but they didn't. Um, and as a result, they pissed this thing so off so much that it rampaged you know took out so many clones and people and got this close and then you know Anakin did one of his improvised plans into which Mace Windu comments my, one of my favorite quotes of Mace Windu said how could be a plan if it's improvised <laughs> and it's just so funny because Obi-Wan and, and uh what was that Rex were both like he does yeah. this a lot that's <laughs> <laughs> explains them all falling yeah and that's great because it's and I love that Yoda like didn't even Yoda's like 
be ready to catch them, we shall. <laughs> you know, or whatever he said. Just some, one of those, you know... I love that your distraction episodes. strategy was literally, let's run around on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and this is one of those fan favorite little two-parters because it's, it's great. It's just a Godzilla. Yeah. So it's, it's literally, you know, Godzilla slash King Kong combined. You know, the beast is, you know, looks like an alien version of Godzilla. There were some moments where, you know, you can argue that this is a Godzilla film, especially with the eye scene. Are we going to see the Dugs again? The Dugs? I don't know. I mean, I, mean, I don't remember. It seemed like they kind of left it like they're... You just got to go down to the pod racing room. Yeah. See, see Bulba, yeah. Ah, but, I mean, I don't have anything else to add for this episode. Do you guys? Yeah, no. no. I think but you got it. That was our two-parter for the Zillow Beast episode. If you guys enjoyed it, let us know in the comments below your favorite part our comments you know of our discussion or the reaction itself otherwise make sure you do like and subscribe if you haven't already and check out our discord and we'll see you next time and i'm mikey i'm joe and i'm mike 732 of your crew thank you for joining us bye King